Welcome to my office, everybody. Thank you for uh, tuning in here. I hope everybody had a great holiday season and a very Merry Christmas. Today we're here uh, because I just received a new package for me for an upcoming 3D printer build that I have coming up. Uh, came in directly from Phil Struder, uh, powered by Duet 3D. We'll open this up and just take a look inside and see what we have here. All right, everybody. Well, here's the box. And uh, from Phil Struder to me. Uh, I think I ordered this. This is the this is Christmas Eve, the 24th. I think I ordered this last Friday. So it came pretty quick, even though with holiday season here. So let's go ahead and open it up. Let's take a look. And we've got some foam. Inside is a nice little letter from Phil Struder. They always, every package I've ever received from them, I got a letter. It says, thanks for ordering your 3D printing accessories from Philistrator. We hope you enjoy these as much as we do, and they help you make your best prints yet. Shannon. Well, thank you very much, Philistrator. I always enjoy the letters that you give us when we order stuff. Boop. I can blur that out there. Um, I paid $129.99 for this, and you might be asking, well, what is it? Well, it's a duet three mini uh the duet three i think has been out about six months now it's a little bit of a form factor designed to run very large intricate machines um, this is more smaller more hobbies hobbyist to you know homeowner just wants to play around with 3d i mean you're not running you know tool changers and things like that the, uh, M the E3D uh, tool changer is uh, run off the uh, Duet 3. So uh, they always give you a powered by Duet advanced motion control sticker. Um, there's how to get to the documentation. If you want to scan that barcode there, or a QR code, you can go take a look at the documentation for yourself there. A uh, little ribbon cable for it, a external antenna. So right now on my 3D printer, I'm running a Duet 2 Wi-Fi, and it has that built-in um, antenna. And sometimes it's pretty tough. You know, if I, I have a metal enclosure coming for it, I'm hoping that it's not going to be an issue. Um, may have to use the metal enclosure here for this mini, but. Uh, they, they give you some connecting pieces. They always give you more than you need. Some connectors, again. Uh, some spade connectors in there. More crimp connectors. Again, they always give you more than you need. And here she is, the Duet 3 Mini uh, 5 Plus uh, card. So let's go ahead and open it up here and take a look inside and see what's there i ain't even excited i've been waiting for this for a long time all right so inside again we have the external fuses um, power connections probably your bed connection as well um, different connectors here let's take a look processor oh there's your steppers right there one two three four five one two three four five connections so it is the same thing as the duet uh two uh wi-fi as it pertains to um how many controllers or stepper motors you can run let me bring up here their website real quick and Let's take a look at the breakout of the Duet Mini. Uh, let's see here, Duet Hardware. Duet 3 Hardware. Oh, there's the Mini. So Duet 3 Mini. Let's take a look at the wiring diagram here. 
So breaking it off, they have it like this. So this is your power in, and this is out zero to your hotbed. A couple beefy MOSFETs over here for that. Um, this is your your hot end one and two out um, again because it's got a five driver you can run two extruders uh, which I plan on doing this will be an, actually an IDEX system I'm building I'm building a rat rig uh, V cast yeah the V cast the i3 style similar to a Prusa uh, so taking a look here all of our drivers uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we have a pin header here for external drivers. So if you wanted to, you know, run a external set of drivers like a CNC type, you can use these right here. Uh, this is for drivers 5 and 6. So you can do two external drivers with this board on this um, or you can get expansions uh, this also does CAN bus so you can actually run uh, tool boards and that's what hopefully in the future I plan on doing is running a tool board um, built on the back of at least one of my extruders so uh, let's take a look here some more these are PWM fan up here and a, and a regular 12 volt out power. Then we have uh, two more voltage outs. Um, doesn't say specifically what they are. Uh, oh, low, low current outputs. So I'm not sure probably for like very small fans again. I'm not quite sure on what are dealing with those. I haven't really looked too much in depth of the micro the mini bore. I've been looking at the, the full fledged Duet 3. So down here we have the Wi Fi module. And now this isn't a standard um, Wi Fi module that they use on the Duet 2, which is a ESP8266, I believe. This is a ESPF chip. Uh, a lot better more powerful things like that a micro SD card it does come with an 8 gig SD card I'm sure all the documentation and everything is in there for you um, right here we have let's see this pin right here this first two pin is software defined um, control pin Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. My bad. That is a CAN bus right there, header. This two pin is. Uh, this three pin and all of these three pins are your IOs, input outputs, um, probably for like height sensors and temperature sensors, fans, uh, things like that. Um, And we're gonna move on up. Apologize, I did, didn't rehearse this. It's just I received the box, I broke it open, take a look at it, said, "Hey, let's do a video." Here is your temperature sensor right here. This is temperature zero for the bed, first hot end, second hot end, um, and then we have SB small board Raspberry Pi connector right there. The room cables for. Uh, you can connect it and instead of running the Duet hardware on this, you can actually run the Duet hardware on Raspberry Pi and get a little bit more functionality out of it. Uh, this pin header right here, kind of follow, is your temperature daughter board. And then right here we have another 5 volt source pin here, three of them. Um, jumper to disable or enable 5 volt. Uh, internal so if you're running like a 24 volt and this 
leaving the jumper open on the wall, allow it to convert to 5 volt, or if you're running your own, like a off an S, uh, micro USB cable, you can jumper that, disable the internal 5 volts, then it runs off the 5 volts from the computer. That way you can set it up so that it'll shut off and turn on your power supply, um, things like that. We have right here uh, two uh, headers for SD card and a 12864 LCD uh, screen. Um, when the Duel came out with the Maestro, the M3D, uh, don't get me started with them. They came out with the Maestro and they just wanted to use instead of the Panel Duo a 12864 12 LCD screen. So they incorporated this in here. Uh, Duet Wi Fi has it as well. Um, that's how I actually ran my LCD screen for quite a while. My Panel Duo for quite a while was off these, but I now have it up to the four pin. And then up here we have external 5 volt and a NeoPixel controller. So if you want to run some RGB, uh, you can do so and this will control the RGB for you. Uh, right here in the middle, um, there's another pin header here and one down here. They are your low, low voltage selectors. Um, so you can select the 12 volt external or uh, internal voltages for that. So, and then that's so that you can use like pumps like for water cooling, uh, which require 12 volts, or you can switch to 12 volts for just running brushless fans, uh, things like that. Um, so that's the front of the board for you there. Take a quick look at it there. Apologize about my lighting. Don't have my studio lighting yet for this room. And then the back of the board here. So they give you a label out every single pin out so you know exactly what you're dealing with. Um, that's one thing I like about Duet 3D is because they label everything, you have a problem with something like a bad driver uh, they give you the pinouts that you need to know for it. Um, these, to me, I wouldn't desolder these, but you could always bypass them. Um, they give you the information to, to do that. Uh, except for on these boards, they don't allow you to bypass these. Those are just test pads. You can see the heat sink for the stepper drivers. And... There is the microcontroller built right there. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Um, you're seeing it for the first time, it's the same as I have. Um, so, there we go. Um, our rat rig VCAS should be up and running here shortly. I think I'm just waiting on uh, I got to scrunch together some drivers, uh, shooters, I'm sorry, um, for it. I think I have all the motors for that. Might need to buy some small pancakes for the extruders because I don't think I have small steppers for that. But uh, I'll be uh, showing that off here uh, probably in a month or two. Uh, you know, I don't I don't make anything off my YouTube videos. I'm not really here to make money. I'm just here to share my experiences with you. But uh, yeah, being a disabled uh, person with uh, just a, uh, getting twice as much a month, you know, it's kind of hard to uh, build your projects the way they are. So that being said, hey, I'm Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and everybody have a Happy New Year and we'll put this away so that way uh, he's ready to go to work when the time calls for. I want to thank Phil Scooter for getting this out to me right away and uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.